Washington, Pittsburgh, next! The ESPN blimp is sailing through the night air overhead, and we are getting set down here on the ground for this evening's football game. Hello, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Heinz Field. Of course, we have Peter O'Keefe along for the fun, and Peter, we have one of the premier tight ends in the entire NFL down there. Yes, we do. He can really take over a game, but nothing comes easy in the NFL. You have to earn your keep every game. We'll see how he does once the game begins, Peter, but first, let's go to the coin talk. Makes a risky pass here and completes it. That took guts, Dan. Check it out. Oh, perfect pass. Things happen, especially in the ground game. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drop. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. That's the first time he's seen the end. Guy's shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. A nice game. Connor gets the toss and passes the line. Stopped at the 42. And That's that'll do it the for the quarter. first half of this one. The Steelers with a small lead, 10 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, team. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our numbers from the first 30 minutes and one line that leaps out right away. Fourth down conversion. The Redskins should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Connor on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 33-yard touchdown for the Steelers. The Steelers get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Redskins end of the first quarter already inside field goal range. Number 39 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Steelers still late in the first. Steelers winning by seven. Ben Roethlisberger would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Redskins now in the second quarter. Smith would find his target on this one. Skins losing seven to nothing. Johnson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Steelers move ahead by 10. The Skins answering right back. Smith is back to throw. And when he gets an opportunity to step up, these are the kind of throws he makes. This was a big one. A 36-yard play that set up a Redskin touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers are holding on to a lead, 10 to seven. And now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Connor has played like a man possessed. So that does two defenders on this one. What a throw. It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage. Smith unloads this to the right sideline and it's complete. Number 11 sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise pound in. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. And that will do it for That's tonight's the game. The Redskins come out on top 28 to 17. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games 
post-game wrap-up. The Redskins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Smith connected with his man on this one. Fuller is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Skins, after getting an interception, Skins behind by three. Smith connected with his man on this one. They take their first lead of the game and are now up by four. The Skins on defense, number 34, was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Skins up 14 to 10. Connor got the carry here and he was able to break through. A four yard touchdown for the Steelers. The Steelers now have their first lead of the half and go up by three. The Skins come right back, the ball at the 48. Smith is gonna get this one out to his wide receiver and he'll do the rest. A 34 yard play that set up a Redskin touchdown. Steelers losing by four. Ben Roethlisberger would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Smith would find his target on this one. A 21 yard touchdown for the Redskins. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins come away with a win, 28 to 17. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Smith is standing by with Susie Colbert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today. And you were instrumental in helping your team snag the win. What was the key to your success? You know what it was? We just stuck to our game plan and got the work done today, you know? Our coaches did a great job today getting us ready for this game, and I think their scouting gave us the edge in the end. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.